Okay, so I want to show you how to record an employee advance. There are a couple of different scenarios where this might happen. One being that something is purchased by the company on behalf of the employee with the agreement that the employee is going to pay you back. The other situation is where you are giving your an employee an advance on their upcoming paycheck. To start out, you want to have an employee advance account set up. Now, I've already set one up here. You'll see that I've selected it's an other current asset. The detail type is employee cash advance and the name employee advance. If you find that you have a number of these advances, you might want to have sub accounts, one for each employee that has an advance out there. But in this situation, I'm just going to use one. Now, the first example I'm going to show you is when the company makes a purchase for something on behalf of the employee for the employee's personal use with the agreement that the employee is going to pay you back. For this example, I'm going to assume that this purchase was made on a company credit card. The account that normally is linked with Hicks Hardware is job materials, but for this purchase, it's an employee's advance. I like to put a memo so it's very clear why this was applied to employee advance. If the employee comes to you with a payment to repay this advance that he's taken, you can record a deposit. I always select who I've received the money from, choose the employee advance account. You can put in a description and the amount he's paying you. Again, I use the memo for reference. So now if I look at my employee advance account, I can see that there's a $100 balance. If I look at the register, I can see that $200 was originally charged at Hicks Hardware on the behalf of this employee, and here's a $100 repayment. Now I don't have payroll set up on this sample account, so I'm going to create a paycheck, a mock paycheck, by just using a check function, just so that you can get the concept of what you should do to deduct this from a payroll check. You would record your gross wages, deduct payroll taxes, and then here you will deduct the repayment of that advance. Again, the gross wages is a positive number, the payroll taxes would be a negative number, and the repayment of advance is also a negative number. Now when I look at this employee advance account, I see the balance is zero. If I view the register, I can see the original $200, the deposit where he came in and gave me a repayment, and then the deduction from his next payroll check. Another situation that might come up is when an employee will ask for a cash advance on their paycheck. In this situation, you're going to write a check, select your employee, use your employee advance account, use your memo to reference why you're paying this employee a $500 check. Look at your employee advance account now. That's showing a $500 balance. When I look at the register, I can see all the history of how this account has been used. There's $200 that went to Hicks Hardware, the repayment from John Johnson and two different methods, and now a new check that's gone out to Emily Platt. I'm going to assume it's time that I'm going to record her payroll check. Again, this isn't how a real paycheck would be done within QuickBooks, but I want you to see the gross wages, less the payroll taxes, less what she's repaying you in the, for the employee advance. We can see the $500 that we gave her as an advance and the $100 that we withheld from her check.